Hi friends, it's me, Ali, your friendly neighborhood Chanel expert. Today we're talking about a new limited edition release for Chanel Les Beige Summer 2023. This is a new intriguing rosy beige cream product. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. Yesterday, I went to the Holt Renfrew here in Montreal. I wanted to see Julia, the wonderful counter manager there. And I wanted to see the new nail polishes they have for Chanel. They don't have the selling products yet. They had the testers so I could see the beautiful colors. And when I was there, I saw the Les Beige summer um, counter presentation. I had made up my mind that I wasn't going to get anything from this year's Les Beige collection. I was mistaken. We all get sucked in sometimes. This here is the new limited edition travel size. So this year they have a lot of travel size formats from some of their existing products, but this is a new product here. So this is in the bronzer category, but it is not a bronzer. This is called the Le Beige Healthy Glow Cream, and the shade is Rosy Beige. They also have travel size versions of the cream bronzers. I have the shade 390 here, so it's exactly half the size. This is 15 grams of product, whereas the regular size is 30. And this is the Healthy Glow Cream Bronzer 390. This is what it looks like here. And this new product here, it's a cream glow. So it's not a bronzer at all. You can tell by the difference in a shade here. This clearly is not the same. I'll go ahead and do a little swatch comparison here, but you'll see it really isn't a bronzer at all. I was really confused by this product here because I saw photos of it online and I really wasn't sure what to make of it, but touching it in person and just swatching it, it feels incredibly powdery. It's buttery and powdery at the exact same time, so it's not a bronzer at all by any stretch of the imagination. And what's interesting is this is a different formula. The, the travel size bronzers have a slightly different formulation. There's no coconut oil, so I'm going to go ahead and include the ingredient list right here. And I also noticed that there's a slight different formulation for the Le Beige Healthy Glow Body Oil because this is the body oil that came out last year. You have to give it a good shake to mix it up. But the new travel size format, which is really nice, it's half the size, the shimmer doesn't separate. It stays mixed together. So they clearly changed the formula, but the finish looks the same. It's just the inside. Somehow it's uh, homogenous. It doesn't have to be mixed together to get this beautiful finish here. So that is something that I noticed. This new travel size cream bronzer has a 12 month lifespan. So as soon as you open it, theoretically, you have 12 months to use it up. And if they're going to have shorter lifespans, especially for cream products, they're always going to have a shorter lifespan. Travel size is the way to go. You know, I'm a very faithful Chanel client and I travel a lot. So they definitely should invest in making a lot of their products travel size because there are other luxury brands like Armani that have travel size foundations and things like that and they sell. So they should do the same thing. So a little bit more information here. This is $50 Canadian plus tax. I've already shown you the ingredient list. Let me just read off some of the information here. The Le Beige Healthy Glow Cream is a cream gel makeup product that evens out. The skin tone illuminates the complexion with a subtle rosy veil. It has a lightweight formula that's easy to blend and leaves the skin smooth, even, and luminous. It picks up easily and applies smoothly with a kabuki brush. They said to use a, a kabuki brush. I love the kabuki brushes, so I do attest their claims here that you should use that to apply. It's travel sized and unfortunately limited edition. So the composition is a wax to powder or wax and powder uh, product that has a mattifying effect and it has an effortless application. The powder offers the, sm the uh, immediate smoothing effect and it has a light reflecting property which is where you get the glow. So I'm going to show you 
how multi-purpose this product can be because at first I was really confused. I mean, look at me, like this is not exactly a perfect color match. I think calling it a healthy glow cream is accurate, but I think it could be used multiple different ways. I'm going to use it today as a primer because when you touch this, it feels, I mean, it feels nice in the tub here, but when you uh, swatch, it, swatch it and pl place it on your hand, it feels silky smooth, like a silk powder. It feels different than the original formula. I imagine it's the new formulation here, but it feels silky and soft. And this is what it looks like blended out. So it isn't going to be quite as pale, but it feels like silk, like a powdery, finely milled, silky velvet finish. That's what really sold me. So using my Chanel Kabuki brush, I'm going to swirl my brush in here. And as always, all of my brushes and everything that I'm wearing is listed down below. So using this big kabuki brush, I'm just going to apply a thin veil on the skin. The reason they say to use a kabuki brush is that a kabuki brush is very big and fluffy and also a little bit dense. So it's going to really disperse the product evenly. It's going to buff it out very nicely. And this just gives a soft blur. It doesn't cover hyperpigmentation or things like that, but it's just giving a nice veil, that little subtle glow. And it's the gel powder finish, because if you think cream glow, you think it's going to be greasy and heavy but it's the gel texture that really just offers a thin blurring veil it makes it very soft it it is mattifying but it isn't astringent or drying because i was quite concerned with mattifying i typically don't uh, gravitate towards mattifying products but this here it's this gel to powder wax formula here that's very soft and very subtle. It does offer a faint whisper of rosy beige finish, but it certainly doesn't match this exactly. You can go in heavier handed and apply more, but as you can tell right now, you wouldn't necessarily know that I applied this product here. It just looks a bit more evened out, but it still has luminosity. You know, don't be scared by the mattifying claims. It's very luminous, it's very natural. I think that this is going to be very popular for the classic Chanel client. And I'm also going to use a little bit of this under the under eye here because it has a little bit of rosiness. So this is going to help cut dark circles. It certainly will not be a concealer on its own, but on a very light, no makeup makeup day this could be a multi-purpose product just to blur and unify a little bit and then also highlight and correct a little if you have a much more fair complexion than me you could use this as a cream highlighter but i think more universally it might just be a really excellent primer i'm going into my le beige water fresh tint in the shade medium just to apply a little bit more coverage. This is incredibly natural as well. This is like a glass of water for your complexion. So on, you know, honestly, I'm wearing less and less face makeup. I know today might be uh, contradictory, but I could see myself wearing the rosy beige cream product primer on its own with concealer because I think it does exactly what I want. You know, Le Beige is very light, very natural, very you, but better. But I wanted to apply the Water Fresh Tint today just to show you how it wears with other products because I know at home you probably have other products and you want to see how this new item will fare for you. Now, I don't know if this is currently available in the US, I'm in Montreal, so I will provide links for you. 
but I'm also going to give you Julia, the counter manager at Chanel Montreal here. I'll give you her contact information because they have it at the counter. So feel free to reach out to her to see what she can do for you. So I used a half of a half a pump of the water fresh tint and my skin just looks luminous. It looks unified and blurred, but in a very subtle, light, natural way that's appropriate for summer. Moving on to the Water Fresh Complexion Touch. This is the sister of the original, but offers three times the coverage. I'm using the shade 30, B30, and this is going to be my concealer. So I take the product here, I break it down like this, And then I just go under and then I just apply it in the inner corner here just to brighten a bit more. Continuing with the Les Beige, I'm going into my Healthy Glow Cream Bronzer number 390. And I'm using a blush brush because I'm going to use it as a bronzer, but also as blush because why not? I'm just applying it here, starting in the hairline and then just tapping it on the cheekbone here, going a little bit in the hairline as well, and just sort of hitting everywhere where sun would naturally apply itself to my face. So you can go in, I mean, it's pretty light because it's a cream product, it's quite buildable. It's always easier to apply than to remove, but I find that this blush brush works really nicely for bronzer and I'm going where I'm going to apply blush anyway because you can in fact mix your blush and bronzer together no one's going to stop you this is the Le Beige cream stick blush in the shade blush 20 it sort of looks like a bronzer it's a blush and a bronzer that had a baby it's really your cheek but better and it's really beautiful I really hope one day they add more of these blush sticks to the line they have a few shades available but they came out with these several years ago and then they never really revisited them which i think is a shame but anyway i'm here to let you know that these blush sticks are very lovely and it looks like blush but bronzer you know am i wearing makeup of course you know i'm wearing makeup but it just looks very natural and healthy and just touched or kissed by the sun for the lip i'm going into the lip liner 162 nude brown i'm just filling in my lip very liberally just like this and then i'm going to go over with a gloss and this is the gloss one or no 716 i think it's called caramel it's nudie and a little mauve it's very glossy and shiny and really pretty all right i wanted to show you one last thing you can do with this rosy beige cream glow so we've used it as a primer we've used it as a little bit of color correcting we can also use it for contouring or highlighting so i'm going to use this is a foundation brush i'm just going to lightly dip in and i'm going to go underneath my bronzer here just to highlight so it's going to carve a little bit more than it would naturally because it is a little bit lighter it just emphasizes the bronzer a bit more it's very subtle but it just sort of carves and makes the cheekbone a bit more highlighted and a bit more sunken in so you can go ahead and do that with your cream uh cream glow i was going to say cream bronzer it's not a cream bronzer it's a cream glow so you can go ahead and do that you could use this and just press to highlight here. You could highlight your cheek cheekbones, collarbones, any part really that you want to just add a bit of light. So what are my final thoughts? I was lured in with the siren call of this new mystery product here. I had convinced myself and you that I wasn't going to buy anything from this year's Les Beige. I was in fact mistaken. I think that this is a very pretty multi-use product. It can be a primer, it can be a corrector, it can be a highlighter. This is a great product. 
So I know that Chanel watches. Hi. You definitely need to make this permanent. Keep it travel size. Keep it travel friendly. This is a perfect size. I don't need a huge one. Keep it the size. Keep it permanent and add colors because this could be a great multi-use travel product for many different people. If you bring this for a vacation or for travel, you're going to be able to do so much with this and a couple other products. You're just going to have a full kit with just a handful of products. Make sure to keep the plastic seal. This keeps it fresh for longer. I think it's a really wonderful product. I don't know when it's going to be available in the US, hopefully very soon, knock on wood. Um, but yeah, I'm really surprised with how much I like it. I think when I saw it online, I was like, oh my God, a light rosy beige, who is that for? But it's actually quite shocking how multi-use and multi-purpose it is. And even though it does look very fair in the container, it's not as pale as you think it's going to be. So anyway, that is my take on the Healthy Glow Cream in Rosy Beige. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Let me know what you think of the different ways that I applied it. I think also if you have a lot of veins or discoloration around your eyes, like your eyelids, use a primer first. I love the NARS eyeshadow primer. And then take a bit of the Healthy Cream just to stamp out some of the veins around the eyes the same way that i used it to color correct just a little bit under the eyes as well i think yeah i'm really impressed with how multi-purpose it is now they just need to make it permanent and add more shade range to it because this one here is not going to serve the entire community to say the least anyway that is my video for today thank you so much for stopping by hope you have a beautiful day and i'll see you next time bye